hello and welcome to the channel i'm peloga zm thank you for stopping by please like comment and subscribe to the channel if this channel has content which you are interested in i would really appreciate interaction with this video and i really appreciate everyone who has already subscribed and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to get this um butterfly cornrows it's very easy you don't even need to know the feed in method if that's something you're interested in please keep watching and here is the demonstration i hope you will enjoy it okay so i've already parted my hair in the center to make two sections for the right and the left now i'm just untangling it a bit more to ensure that everything is smooth and to keep the hair on one side out of the way i'm putting a hair tie on it i'll be using the eco styler gel for this look just to ensure that everything is nice and smooth so i'm going to apply a decent amount because i really want my hair to be flat and then i go in with this brush just to flatten everything this brush really will flatten your hair nicely but it has to be i don't want to say hard but it has to be hard enough for it to brush through your natural hair now i will start braiding firmly from the front to the back ensuring that i hold all the hair in the section because if you don't properly hold in all the hair it won't be as flat as it should be and it won't be as neat as you'd like it to be and whenever i feel the need to brush a little bit more on the side such that all the hair is neatly tucked away in the braid i will do that and i suggest you also do that when you decide to try out this hairstyle When doing the braid, please ensure that you do not pull on your hair. Ensure that your scalp is comfortable and you are comfortable with how tight the braid is. It should never be too tight and it should never feel uncomfortable. And once I am done with this braid, I will brush the side and then I will move on to the other side. Once I'm done braiding on both sides, I will just brush on the sides to ensure that all the hair is as flat as I would like it to be and apply more gel if I see the need. Now I'm going to reach for this satin headscarf which I will use to ensure that my hair dries down flat and I will ensure that it is flat on all sides of my head so that the hair is also flat everywhere on my head and when tying this I ensure that it's a bit tight but not too tight to give me a headache while I wait for my hair to dry I will be preparing the darling hair that I will be using for this look so I'll be using 1 million braids by Darling in the color 2, cut it once at the center and then fluff it out such that it looks like this. And one hour later, this is me, I did go on to put on a second scarf on my head because I wasn't completely comfortable with the yellow one. And this is what the braids look like. So I'm going to get the braiding hair onto my hair through the use of a crochet. So take your hair, roll it for it to be easily hooked onto the hook of the crochet needle, then crochet it under the braid. That's how you get the braiding hair onto your own hair without doing the feed in method. So I'm just going to crochet the darling hair onto my braid from the front all the way to the back. The spacing in the front is much smaller than the spacing that I will have going to the back. The spacing in between um, the braiding hair gradually increases as I'm moving to the back and the size of the braiding hair that I crochet through under my own braid gradually increases with the smallest braiding hair being in the front and the largest being at the back. 
once i am done with the crocheting i'll bring the hair to one side and start braiding so when braiding i divide the first section of hair into three and i take in hair from each side by putting it in between my index finger and my thumb then proceeding to braid as per normal So as I'm braiding, you will notice that there are three braiding structures that are appearing on this one braid. One on the outer side, one at the top where the braiding structure usually is, and one on the inner part of the braid. So this braiding method is unique in that sense. It gives you three appearances of braids on one braid. And once I'm done braiding at the top of my head, I will proceed to braid downwards and when i feel the need to add more braiding hair i will do so if i see that maybe my braid is becoming a bit thinner than what i would like or it's not going to be long enough While braiding downwards, I'm going to start leaving out small pieces of the braiding hair in order for me to curl those and create the butterfly effect on the braids of the darling hair. I will not braid the hair all the way down. I will leave about six to eight centimeters of braiding hair at the end. And instead I will make a knot once I am at that length because I want to curl um, the ends of the braiding hair. I create the knot by pulling out a small piece of hair making a hole with my thumb then pulling it through that hole then separating that small piece of hair again and making a hole with my thumb and pulling it through that hole just to ensure that my knot is tight and will not get loose once I curl the hair. I will be using these rollers to curl the hair that I left out of the braid and at the end of the braid. So I roll the hair that is at the end and on the sides of the braid on the rollers, secure it, then I will go on to curling it with hot water.
I'm now going to dip the braid and the rollers into recently boiled water for one minute to two minutes you don't need to do it longer than that if you want your curls to be more defined then you just need to leave in the rollers for about 20 minutes if you want your curls to be looser you can remove the rollers in about seven to eight minutes while i leave the braid on the left to air dry i'm going to do on to the left what i did on the right i hope you guys can see the braid structure that i was referring to earlier the one that is on the side and also on this side i'm going to leave out braiding hair as i'm braiding downwards because i'd also like to curl those and create the butterfly effect So the hair at the end of this braid was a bit longer, as a result I had to cut some of it off to ensure that this braid is as long as the other braid that is on the left. So I went on to putting on the rollers, dipping the hair in hot water and then I waited for it to air dry. Then I started um, removing the rollers so now i'm going to show you what it looks like on the left and now i will be removing the rollers on camera on the right so the curls on this side look a bit fluffed out and i don't want that so i'm going to dip my fingers in water and then just go through the curls so that it looks more defined and less fluffed out Now this is the final result of the braid with the butterfly effect and yes, done. If you watched the video up till this point, thank you. Please subscribe and share this um, video with anyone you think might be interested in it. Uh, let other people know so that you're not the only one who knows how to do this. Share the information. Just like I'm sharing it with you, share it with other people by sharing this video. Thank you so much for watching up till the end. I hope to see you on my next video. I hope you are subscribed because you clearly enjoyed what you saw. So do make sure that you subscribe, click the notification bell. And if you have anything you'd like to say, please leave it in the comment section. I would really appreciate that. Okay, bye.